everybody. My name is Wonderwater. The wool. <laughs> New rule. Don't start the intro with your headphones on. Because it just creates an endless loop of hello. <laughs> and that's not fun. So, I know, as you could probably see, uh, by, by, wait, let me move this. There we go, sorry, technical stuff. As you can probably see by the stack of Pokemon cards everywhere, and this lamp. Whoa, oh, that sounds cool. This is a very bad smelling lamp, oh. It smells like, um, when you walk down the aisle at, like, a craft store, and it has all the fake plants in it. That's the aisle. That's the smell that's aromatating from this bottle because of what's in it. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're basically going to be making a lamp. Now I have this, the core of the lamp, the inside of the lamp. It's still got some stuff in it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I know that you can hear the echo because he, I can hear the echo on this. I got this. Oh, that's bright on the camera. Kind of like bright, less bright than that. Okay, we'll do that. Um... Ooh, scary stories. No. Um, I'm a, I'm a, you can't, like, this entire side of the room is dark. <laughs> what this is, is it's the top to the lamp. Um, okay. That was why. Let's not turn that off. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this on top of this after we fill it with these. Yeah, so I have about, oh, oh, too bright. Fixing. Okay. I have about, maybe 300 Pokemon cards around me. <laughs> no joke. Because I have th this one, this one, which is overflowed, this one over here, a stack and a half up here, and then a stack and a half down here. I have a lot. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be filling this with Pokemon cards and other cards. Not the Growlithe card, though, because the Growlithe card is ruined. So, yeah, what I'm basically going to be doing, as I've already explained, is that. But I'm also just going to be talking over it. It's the start of the week. How was your guys' this week? Um, that was probably loud. Because I turned up my audio because I've been too quiet in the past couple of videos. So I turned it up to see how I sound. I sound great. <laughs> so, um, yeah. How we're going to do this is we're basically going to stick. Well, first we're going to flip all of these the same way. No, I did not open a pack for any one of you wondering out there. Um, I used to sell Pokemon cards. Because at an antique mall. Oh, these, these don't fit in sideways. Imagine. Don't, don't have them upside down, he says. I know I can fit you fit in here. a little shifty at that last part okay what I wanted to do is I wanted to do it to where they were sort of like up the sides and I am gonna go through these as I get rid of them well, quotations around get rid of I'm just putting them inside of this basket I want I'm gonna put a pile in front of me for stuff I want to keep so if I come across any cool looking Pokemon cards like what I um, just put down there I'll show you when I get done Um, this, ooh, turns this way, yeah, this little Snorlax, I wanted to put it in sideways, I might tilt the thing over and put them in this way, put this in front of this, that seems to work, I also have a lot of fake cards to put in there, um, bought a pack, like, 30 packs of Pokemon once, and they were all fake. Yeah, learned my lesson not to buy from shifty people in the back alleys, no. Okay. Um, oh, putting that Luxray down there in the crustal. I think I just stumbled upon part of my old deck. I used to have a, like, 10-gallon tote. Or something bigger than that. Filled. With nothing but Pokemon cards. Um. And then, yeah. Put the sleeve over there. 
What is that? That's a crocodile. I'm putting that out. Ooh, two cool looking sleeves. The hard case. And that's a Bakuman card. Bakugan, not Bakuman. Yeah, this looks not okay, but we'll go with it. Oh, a light gold duck. What? I have weird, some weird Pokemon cards. After you've collected about as many as I have, you get some weird cards. It's a cool looking Eridos. Like, I'm pretty sure I have every single dark Pokemon card ever created. Which are these. It's basically no the normal Pokemon, except it's got dark in front of it. And it counts as not only a... Um... A fire type. Well, Mascargo is a fire type, so it counts as both a fire type and a dark, which is just amazing. So I have them, a lot of them. That is a first gen Pikachu. That is a first gen Blastoise. Are you joking? 1999. I have a lot of uh, like original, original cards. Like I have a ton of these, but they're not um, the 2017 remakes. They're like all 1990 cards. Fit right on my right, right horn. Um, Nido Rio, Avalog, first gen Nido King, Squirtle, Swine Up, Diglett, Diglett Dig, Diglett Dig. It's the only thing, only call that I can do properly is the Diglett thing, and I'm so proud of it. I always loved that Pokemon. He was so adorable. He was useless. Believe me. He was useless in a battle. But he was adorable. And that's what mattered. Empoleon. As I'm putting these in here, you can't see what they say. So I might put them in there. There we go. Like that. Scytherfall. Thank you. Dig the dig. Dig the dig. Found another Diglett. <laughs> You'll know when I find a Diglett, I'll make the noise. <laughs> oh wait, no. Okay, then this. Can I, I want all these to go. No, 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 no. I want all these to go over here. No. My hand's in the jar. Repeat. My hand has entered the jar. Repeat. My hand has not. Cannot leave the jar. The jar's a little, uh, little tight squeeze for my hand. I was looking for so many covers for my Pokemon, and I'm just, like, finding them now. Of course, the Pokemon case would have been the first place I should have checked, but... Dragonite. Rapidouche. It's a weird Pokemon card. Raichu. Another Raichu. Cute-looking Raichu. A fake Pokemon card. A very badly faked Pokemon card. Charmander. Oh. Wow, this is... For anyone that remembers Redekai out there, I just... That's what's in my hand right now is a card from that game. I used to love that thing. Um, Bulbasaur. I don't even play... Why do I have a Yu-Gi-Oh card? I, I never play any other card game. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't play anything else. I don't play Magic. Although I have Magic cards from when a friend gave me them back in, like, third grade. Don't don't ask. That in there. Squirtle. It's a Deoxys card. Chestnut. What was that? That was a dark Chime Charmeleon. This is a from the 1990 Dark Chime Charmeleon. Okay then. That must have been a thing that went on for a bit. Dark Pokemon and light Pokemon. This is coming together and it's looking quite nice. Oh, well, I think it looks quite nice. 
and I didn't need as many Pokemon cards as I thought I did. I grabbed literally a stack and a half of Pokemon cards. This is all from one series. This is all new Pokemon. Like, Professor Kikui is here. How? What? And a lot of its energy. I'm gonna stick you back in there, because... I dropped the card. That's obviously from a deck that I must have bought. One of the big packs. Ooh, Chandelure. I love Chandelure. He's such a cool Pokemon. He's an evil Pokemon. But he's a cool Pokemon. Now we're into our second stack. So I think actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break. And show you all some of the cards that I, well, I'm going to save. I should go through like my original deck someday. Something that I, for any time we do like house rules or anything. Uh, what I use. So uh, Okay. Get all these weird cards out of the way. And things that aren't even cards. So. So many cards. So I have a crocodile. Let's see if I can. Yeah. The Snorlax from earlier. Turn it upside down now. Uh, Crustle, who I love. Because it's the uh, official Pokemon of July. Something weird like that. Uh, it was in the second. It was in the Pokemon Black and White book. They had one for like each month, and July was Crustle. So I always loved him. Muck. He's a cool Pokemon. Luxray. A Spirit Link from U2. Light Gold Duck. It's probably all this closer. Dark Chame Charmeleon. Chameleon. Chestnut. Chandelure. Muscargro. Well, Dark Muscargro. Dragonite. Okay. Seismitoad, who I also love. I got him in black and white when I when it first came out. Empoleon. Nido King, shiny Nido King with its cool looking foil. Avalug. Poliwhirl with its nice foil. Blastoise. And then I pulled the wrong card out. And then the Excadrill, who I also used a ton of when black and white first came out. Now on to the second deck. Weezing. Well, the second stack, I should say. Uh, mighty Hammer. Right, so, like, yeah, so, um, a little story time in the middle of this. I play, I was playing Pokemon Go over the past weekend, uh, because it's a great way to pass the time if you're on, like, a road trip or something. Um, and just out of nowhere, Nidoking... For any of you who play Pokemon, you know how bad getting a Nido King can be. Spawns, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting you. I was searching for a Bulbasaur and got a Nido King and called it a day. I was like, yeah, this, this is about right. Ooh, Heliosk, I love that Pokemon. He was also another Pokemon that was always on my team. Actually, I think he's still on my team. I brought him from X and Y over. And I've continued to use him since that day. Okay. Man, I, I keep dropping a lot of them off the side over here. The Barotic, or, uh, yeah, Barotic, who I can never use. That's a Digimon card. Don't ask. A nice close up of Raichu. Can I, yeah, get those over here. Okay, I'm moving these because they keep falling off the desk. You know, just grab these top cards instead. Ah, it would make more sense, but then again, you know me. I, I, what I would... English, please. Whenever I do anything, it doesn't work. Um, Torchic. A Pichu. This is from the uh, when McDonald or Burger King was giving out cards. Their thing that they did forever ago. This is one of the cards I got. He's got the nice little foil texture. Uh, Torkoal, a lovely looking Pidgeotto. Roserade. Oh, I'm not even gonna try him. He's oh, he's always been one of the names that I like 
regret ever trying to say masquerade or something like that. Hone Edge. I love Hone Edge too. Just the thought of having that as your teammate. A Wabba or er, a sword Pokemon. It just is so cool. Some people, I know actually a lot of people, don't like the idea of real uh, real items turned into Pokemon. But it's it's cool to look at. It's cool to think that like a chandelier is now a Pokemon. A um couple um a sword is a Pokemon. There's a Dewblade. <laughs> cool to think that all this stuff can be Pokemon. One Pokemon that always freaked me out was Yamask. He was another 5th gen, fifth gen. And his thing was like it stares into the soul, it stares into the mask that it carries and remembers its human face. I'm like um, yeah no. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. It's just weird to think of. Daramaku was another Pokemon I used a ton of. I used him until he evolved into Daramatan. And then, yeah. Oh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Grey Ninja. For, I don't know why, but him and Honedge. There we go. Moving is kind of like backwards. Him and Honedge are just my favorite Pokemon ever. And like, ever. Um, Yeah. Still finding a ton of, um, what should we call it? Uh, not oh, Bak Yu Gi Oh! I was gonna say not Yu Gi Oh! Bakugan, and I was like, no, wait, not Bakugan, Yu Gi Oh! My mind threw me off. Obama Snow, who I used a ton of in 6th gen, or er, not uh, in X and Y, mainly because he mega evolved, and that mega evolved was cool. There are, though, a ton of, like, Pokemon that people are like, oh, yeah, they're really good, that I've never, ever used. Like, um, Dratini, supposedly a, or, um, Dragonite, is supposedly a really good Pokemon, but I don't think I've ever had one in any of the gens. Just to fill out the Pokedex, I got it in black and white, but other than that, I don't think I've ever searched for one. I think a Bootops is cool. Kingler, or Krabby and Kingler are another car that I, like, adore. They're, like, super hard to get in the games for some reason. Dark Hip? No, yes, please. I have an entire, um, box like this filled with just dark Pokemon. And for some reason, my, um, thing just went off. My phone. I'm gonna check that real quick, although it's a little unprofessional. It's for nothing, don't worry. Um. Went off again. Professional. I know. Should probably turn the sound off. Don't know why I didn't do that. Arcanine. The legendary Pokemon that's not a legendary Pokemon. I got him in this case. It's cool. It's too big for it, but. Lugia. These are cool. I don't know why they came out or when they came out. But they're the double stack cards. And I have a couple of them. I have a... Um, can I do this over here? Uh, no. Keep it over here. I have a double... I don't have the complete one for Lugia. But I have one for Suicune, Deoxys, and... Um, uh, what is it? Mm, I can't remember its name. and It's embarrassing. Deoxys and Rayquaza. I have the double for that. Um... For Suicune and it's either Entei or Raikou, one of the two. Raikou is another Pokemon that I adore. If I could have like a perfect team set up, it would be a Raikou. I'm pretty sure that's how you say its name. Oh, that's a full card that I didn't know I had. Parallel City. I'm leaving that card out. This is all trainers. Literally all of that is trainers. Why? Are all these trainers too? Because if so, I'm not going to put you in. It is. It's literally all trainers. 
why though? And it's not like something that would go together either. Like it's not something that makes me think of, oh, it's a pack put together. It's just a bunch of random cards. <laughs> putting that there. Straighten that up and putting that there. Yeah, but this. It's cool to look at. Wait, pull it this way. Bring it up. There we go. It's wait. My screen, sorry. I'm recording on my laptop and I'm looking at myself as I'm doing it and my screen just went white. Uh, my screen turned off because of uh, inactive use. Here's a couple of the Pokemon game coin uh, things. Flap one of those on screen in a second if anyone wants to use it because I don't. It'd be a good Pokemon giveaway to do. Just give away all of mine of those stupid cards. They come in every deck and it's like, oh yeah, redeem this deck online now. And I'm like, no, I don't need to. That was loud, sorry. I sort of slammed that down. So, here you go. Anyone want to use it, go feel free. Have fun. First come, first serve. I don't know how many times you can use them. That is a divider for Pokemon box, and that is a um, sleeve. I don't know why I'm going through all these. I think it's just like my brain's like, oh yeah, we're not going to give away any super good Pokemon hiding in the stack. I'm like, all of your super good Pokemon are hidden away. They're in a case that never leaves your side. Like, usually I always have my Pokemon cards on me. And I know that sounds a little weird. Like, you always have a pack of Pokemon. Yes, I always have a full deck of Pokemon. Just in case anyone wants to come up and battle me. You know, it's... <laughs> I carried it around at first. It's like, okay, if I ever need something to do when I'm, like, sitting down at the dinner table. Don't feel like talking. I just whip out the Pokemon cards. More... Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know what to do with those. Can I get these over here? Yes, I can. Try not to bend the cards. It actually looks really cool. I'm not trying to use up this stack that's off screen. Um, Drud again. He's a really cool Pokemon. Oh yeah, and I sort of just got off topic and never came back. Oh, this is a cool legendary, uh, cool energy card. It's got Lugia in the background, and uh, the island where he can be found. Um, I have a couple energies like that. I have one for, actually, here's another one. No, wait, that's just um, the World Championship card. Uh, there's ones for, ooh, that's a uh, Venusaur. Sorry. I have um, one that has uh, Hoenn. And in the background is the Burnt Tower. Um, I'm pretty sure they came out with one of each for the legendary uh, dogs. Uh, you can't really... Is there more Is there more than the legendary dog trio now? Because there's Raikou, Suiku, and Entei. Who I was always like, oh yeah, this is like the dog trio. Every gen generation, they incorporate like a new trio of Pokemon, a trio of legendaries, um, all night party, that would be cool, that's, like, specifically if you use dark type Pokemon, that's a card you want, most likely, um, it was like, oh, what was I saying, um, in the first generation, it was, like, Zapdos, or no, yeah, first gen is Zapdos, yeah, sorry, I get confused sometimes. Uh, it's like Zapdos and uh, Moltres and uh, Articuno. That's like the first legendary trio. Then you got Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Then there's um, Viseron, or there's Azelf, Unix, and then the other one. I don't remember the other one's name because I never used it or ever saw it really. I used um, Azelf and I used um, Unix, but I guess I never really you ever used um, the third one. 
I'm gonna look it up right now, actually, because it's, it's like it's gonna get stuck in my mind, and I'm not gonna be able to think of what it is. Also, this video has been going on for a bit, actually, so never mind. I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm gonna finish off. Okay, gonna progress out, pr progress my thought process right now. Um, there's Viseron, uh, Terex, and then something else. That's for black and white, the legendary trio that appears. And that's what would be like the, what I would classify as the other dog trio. Because there's... They look like wolves. Sort of like an, a weird version of them. But anyway, back to something that I sort of got onto and then left, taught completely. <laughs> um, it was the perfect team would be something like um, the it would be Zapdos because I love him. He's one, he's one of my also favorite Pokemon. Um, Gray Ninja, um, Hone Edge. Uh. What else could I add from there? Something I cannot play without ever. Um. Oh, uh, Desa do I? However you want to say it. Um. Heliosk. Um. Is there one more? Zapdos, Green Ninja, Hone Edge. Yeah, and then. Huh. I always, for, there's one Pokemon that I'm forgetting. Like, I have him on my team. And he's like, I always have him on there. Um, it wasn't just a... That was loud, sorry. I forgot that these say... Oh, Scolipede. I just picked his card up, too. I loved when... Sco I loved Scolipede. When he came out, He was, I just saw him and I was like, Yes, I need him. I, I, the first po time I found a Venipede, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? And then completely leveled the Venipede up. And got, in what was now one of my favorite Pokemon. And for any of you wondering, yes, I did start with black and white. That's why I know black and white like the back of my hand. But I've been playing the card game for much longer. Like, I didn't get into Pokemon because of black and white. I've been into Pokemon for a while. But Black and White was the first official game that I played. There was another thing I played, actually. Um, the Dungeon. Or not Dungeon. Or, yeah, the Dungeon games. I played those, too. It was... Um... Uh, it wasn't... Ranger. Pokemon Ranger. It's such a random game. It's good. I'll give it that much. It's good. Very fun to play. I think actually on my uh, 3DS, it was the longest game that I played because I sat down for literally an hour because it had to go back the next day. So not even an hour, I think for the entire day, that's all I did was play um, the Legends of wherever it was. Okay, and it's the entire time that you have seen sat there and listened to me yap um, about Pokemon. For any of you who are like into Pokemon and want to correct me on any of the things that I said if I got something wrong. Was it Misprit? It just came out of nowhere. It was like... Oh, it's gonna bug me. Azelf, Unix, and Misprit. That sounds right. Because the one I can't think of is the one that is the pink face. Because Azelf is blue, Unix is yellow. Huh. Yeah. But, as I was saying, as you all have sat here and listened to me nerd out about Pokemon. Don't put that on yet, actually. We filled the entire thing up. And it didn't take as many as I thought it would. I thought it would have taken a lot. But that was loud too. So now this is what I use when I record. Stick it over there. See how nice everything looks now? Also, if you're wondering, yes, I got a different chair. It's weird. 
It's like a folding chair, but it's wooden. So, like, now I'm super tall, but I'm also super scrunched up against my desk, so I sit like this. Um, I think that'll end out the video, actually. Um, my laptop's almost dead. It's on 4%. Um, so yeah, that's this is where I have to end off the video. And expect in the near future, since I got... Oh, that was weird. I tried to change the page across so that I could get into something else. I should have just shrunk myself. Um, I recently got OBS, which is just awesome. Um, my te one of my teachers actually helped set it up for me. So, oh, I just opened it, and now I can, like, whenever I move, not only does I, does you, I, do I see the lag from this, but I see the lag from all the other ones. Um, yeah. So, that should be good. That should be the end of today's episode. I'm happy. I got to do something that I wanted to do anyway, which was cool. Now I'm just playing with the OBS. But yeah, um, you could, you should see some of that in the very near future. Um, me playing games on my laptop. I can't wait. I'm happy. Yeah. 31 minutes. Perfect. See you later.